next this is an important thing okay so this is efficacy and logo and license now now this has to be there on to the label okay if you are not putting this on to the label okay the consumer won't know should that product be consumed or not okay and efficacy i depicts this thing that the product is uh, safe okay and it the product is basically uh, you know uh, like uh, under all the mandates of the fsci all right so fsci logo has to be there in this font uh, in this color okay and you have to disclose the license number in case uh, if you see the previous slide where uh, i had mentioned marketed by address below that you have to mention the fsci logo along with the license number of the marketed by or either manufactured by address okay so fsci logo and license number is mandatory i am repeating again on to the next slide this is a net quantity retail sale price batch number or lot number and consumer characteristics now as uh, as a consumer we always look on to the label that what is the net quantity okay the retail price that is the mr then the batch number and the consumer characteristics now in this case if uh, the product is about like 350 rupees okay If we, it is up to the customer that what uh, what product he or she wants to purchase okay then mrp uh, net weight i will repeat net weight mrp okay usp okay this also fall under the legal metrology act okay so one has to uh, follow the legal metrology act while disclosing this on to the lead now why is batch number a mandatory thing okay as uh, you know there are some products which uh, needs to be recalled if the uh, products are faulty okay if uh, there is some kind of a, a problem happening all right so with the help of the batch number you can actually trace your product and you can recall it okay now consumer care details is uh, mandatory like it's the significance of it is like uh, you can always uh, uh, give a complaint okay to their uh, to the details okay which they have displayed or uh, disclosed on the label because if you find uh, that a product is faulty it is uh, not uh, suitable for you okay so you can always complain or launch a complaint on to the label okay you can always see uh, this image that uh, they have already given the email address okay where you can launch the complaint you have uh, you can see the toll free number they have given a number also Okay, then they have also given their website details. All right. So the next slide. Hello. So date marking. in this case uh, you can see manufacturing or packaging date or expiry or use by and best before okay now what is date of manufacture it's now the date of manufacture would explain this uh, in a short and sweet way that whenever you are manufacturing the product okay uh, so that would be the date of manufacture date of packaging is when you are manufacturing the product and you are placing that product in a container or a package so that is the date of packaging okay now this is important uh, as uh, so as the consumer can uh, always get to know that when the product is being manufactured is it safe to consume okay uh, and then expiry or use by date uh, make sure that you should not consume that product after that particular date as because the product is not safe to consume okay now best before date you can add it on the label but that is an optional information or i can say it's an additional information now what does the best before uh, means so best before date uh, if you by mistakely consume the best before date product it is okay if you consume do not panic okay because that uh, particular food product is not going to hamper your health okay the product will uh, you know kind of uh, leave its uh, nutritional properties okay it, you cannot get a proper pleasant taste this is in case of best before date and in case of expiry date 
okay you cannot consume that particular product after that particular date now you can see expired date in case of breads now uh, if you can uh, see in the market there are breads available all right and you can see that uh, this products are needs to be consumed within 4 days okay so it is very important that you read the date especially while buying the products all right and if you feel that you are uh, you have buy uh, you have uh, you know kind of uh, taken that product from some supermarket like which is expired you can always return that product to the uh, supermarket okay without any hesitation right? because your health is something which is uh, first thing all right now the manner of declaration of date of manufacture or packaging or expiry or use by date Shall be as follows. If less than three months of shelf life, you can uh, mention the date in the following format. That is, date, month, and year. If more than three months of shelf life, then you can mention it uh, either in this month or year. Okay. Next slide, please. Okay. So uh, you might be uh, thinking of that. Uh, I have uh, mentioned. few beautiful images uh, where i have written uh, on the top that this is an exception where you need not mention expiry date okay so you can see those are uh, fresh fruits and vegetables then you can see those uh, grapes uh, which besides that you can see a beautiful glass of wine alcoholic beverages then vinegar then sugar bowl confectionery this is a food grade industrial salt then these are solid sugars and besides that you can see uh, the chewing gum and the bubble gum so these are the products which may not require an expiry so this is not something which i am stating this is something fsa has already uh, laid in the regulation all right uh, next slide please all right so instructions for use this is something uh, really interesting i would say now uh, you all know this uh, maggi uh, thing right uh, everyone loves to eat maggi or noodles or something like that you know which is uh, very quick to make and all but what if you don't uh, get to know how to make it okay you will get panic for a moment so for that uh, in that case you have to the lbo has to uh, take care of it that he needs to mention the instruction for use okay now in this case you can see i have displayed one uh, uh, label uh, like not the label i would say this is an example okay where you can uh, see the major uh, uh, ingredient i would say is the rambandu uh, sambar masala powder okay so in that case uh, how to make the sambar they have given okay with the help of that masala powder 